For our 5.1 hands-on task, the first thing we need to do is make sure we have a math folder. So what you need to do is open a new tab, click that plus button, and then if you come to your nine pins right here, go to your Google Drive. Now you're going to click on new and new folder, and you're going to make a folder called sixth grade math, and you're going to press create. And a folder is going to pop up sixth grade math. We don't want to just shove everything in one spot. You can see I have folders so I can go and find stuff. So anytime we copy something in math, it needs to go into your math folder. So if you already have one, great. If not, Google Drive, new folder, sixth grade math. If you need help with that, get help. So coming back here, you are watching this video now. Then you're going to come here and click on this. You're going to copy it, name it, file it. So when you click on this, it's going to bring up a screen and it's going to say copy and you're going to click on the blue copy button right here. You're going to make a copy. So one, make a copy and it is loading. Just click it one time. Every time you click it, it makes another copy. You want one, one copy. So we copied it. Now we're going to name it. Every time you copy something, it's called copy of. You do not want all of your assignments called copy of then you can't find things. So all we come up here and do is erase the words copy of, now it's called the right thing. So get rid of that. So we copied it, we named it. You can put your name at the end. Don't put your name at the beginning because then they're all called your name. So then the last thing is called file it. So it either looks like this or it will have just like a little folder. Sometimes it has a couple things like if you, oh, like that. So right here, we're going to click on this folder. So copy it, name it, file it. We're going to put it in a file. So we're going to come and we are going to say, I want it in my sixth grade math folder and I want to move it here. You can click here or here, either way. You want to move it into that folder. So you can see it moved it into my folder. If I look here now, it shows that it's in my sixth grade math folder. So you copied it, you named it, you filed it. Every time you get something, you should be doing that to keep your Google Drive organized. So now you have this copy. Now that you have a copy of the activity in your math folder in the correct place, we're gonna go over how we're actually going to do the activity. So number one, you need to know that you are not eating these until you are done with the activity. Do not eat these. Do not eat your Fruit Loops until you are done with the activity. Do not eat them. What are we not doing? Oh, we're not eating them. Do not eat your Fruit Loops until you are done. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your bag of Fruit Loops. You're going to sort them into colors. We're going to fill out the ratios. So you can either use the colon that is right next to the L. You shift right next to the L. You can write the word two or you can use the slash for a fraction. Once you have it filled out, you're going to check it off then when you are done, you may eat them and make sure you clean up any trash you have. So on your activity, you can click in these boxes and you can fill out how many colors you have. And then you can also click right next to each of these to be able to type in your answers. So you'll be typing on that page. So let's do a little practice. So I got my bag of Fruit Loops and I need to sort them out into colors. Then I am going to fill this chart out. So I have three red, six orange, two green, four blue, no yellow, and three purple. Now your chart is not going to look exactly like mine. The chances of you having the exact same numbers and colors that I do is pretty near impossible probably. So make sure you use your Fruit Loops to fill out yours. So now I have to answer how many red to blue. So I have to put red first, so red is three, and I'm comparing that to blue, which is four. Then yellow is zero, and that is compared to purple, which is three. So I'm just using this information, put them in the order. So now it has my total Fruit Loops. So I need to count up the total Fruit Loops I have so here is 9, 10, 11, plus 4 is 15, 
plus three is 18. I'm going to write that just up in the corner so I can remember that. So my total is 18 and green is two. So those green ones are counted in that total. They're still part of the whole thing. So, right, you're just going to keep on going. I'll do a few on this side. Yellow to blue. Yellow is zero. Blue is four. Now I need to make sure I don't put four than zero. That would be backwards. They have to go in order. So again, my total is 18. And my red ones are three. So just filling that out. So let's try some of these ones down here. They're a little bit different. So this one's red and blue together. So I have to put my red and blue together. So I have three red, four blue. So that's a total of seven. And I'm comparing that to the yellow, which is zero. So now it wants my total, which my total was 18. And I'm putting orange and purple together. So orange is six, purple is three. So that's compared to nine. So it looks like my orange and my purple actually make up half of my Fruit Loops. Hey, this one we're putting blue, so blue is four, and we're comparing that to red and green. So red is three, green is two, so together those have five. So I barely have more red and green together than I do blue. So pay attention to what it's asking you, right? Totals, if it says and, right, we're adding. So if it says Wherever it says the word two, that's where you're going to put the two, the colon, or the fraction sign. If it says and, we're adding those colors together. So you're going to do that whole thing, get it checked off. Then you can eat your Fruit Loops and make sure you clean up your trash. Now, how are you going to get your Fruit Loops? You need to go tell the teacher, me, Mrs. Richards, the teacher aide, a substitute, whoever is here this day, you need to say the secret words. Who can Sam? So that is the Fruit Loops mascot. So to get your Fruit Loops, and that's how I will know you watch this whole video and that you're not going to eat them until you are done. You are going to go tell the teacher to can Sam and you will get your Fruit Loops and a little napkin to put them on because your desks are gross. So to can Sam, get your work done and enjoy your Fruit Loops.